news, my wonderful people. The future of Nigeria lies in our hands. We should try as much as possible at this coming elections not to play regional cards. We should not vote based on religion. We should not vote based on ethnicity. We should not vote because air eh, is our brother. Let us vote for our brother. No. We should always have at the back of our minds that we are voting for this particular presidential candidate because we feel he is competent enough. We feel he has the force to bring you know, Nigeria into a better place. We feel that he will bring a lasting solution to the problems of Nigeria and someone that understands Nigerians better to the grassroots level. That is the kind of person we should cast our votes for. And that is what we should have at the back of our minds, not because he's our brother or because he's our sister. No, no, no. Nigerians are done with tribalism. Let us bring in a new change this time around. Which brings us to today's news report. As Senator Oji in Okalo has stated that uh, Indimbo needs other regions to win president, that the Saturday's election not yet our best outing. Let's find out, you know, more on this statement as we hit the news. But if you are joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The former Abia State Governor, Oji Kalu, who is currently the Chief Whip of the Senate, has dismissed the chances of the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter B, noting that the Saturday election is not the best outing for the Igbo people. Kalu, who said he is not sure that Nigerians are ready for a president, from the Southeast geopolitical zone, stressed that the people of the Southeast need the support of five other regions for one of their own to get to Aso Rock. Kalu made this known on the 2023 Vedict Channel's television special elections program on Wednesday, adding that the people of the Southeast are the best professionals, but not the best politicians. He said, it is not the best outing for us, Igbo people, because for you to become the president of Nigeria, you need other regions. And I am well experienced. I ran for president in 2007, and I'm not sure Nigerians are ready for a president of Igbo extraction. I'm not sure because I have tried to nose around that. We have five other regions to come up with, and I'm not sure. We do politics with emotions, and I want Igbos to stop doing politics with emotions. I want Igbos to do practical politics, he noted. My country people, this is coming from no other person than Senator Oji Uzokalo, who has stated that the Igbo needs other regions to win the president. So this statement of his means that Mr. Pito B does not have the chance to win at the forthcoming presidential election. He has already dismissed Obi's chances now. Yes, with this statement of his, he is claiming that Mr. Pito B, you know, does not know what he's doing. That Pito B is only going there to play. Pito B does not have a chance to win the elections. And Igbo people should not stress themselves by voting for Pito B, my country people. This statement, you know, is coming from no other person than the former Abia state governor. Senator Oji Uzokalu, who has stated that for the Igbo people to produce a president from the Southeast geopolitical zone, then they need the support of five other regions for one of their own to get to Oso Rock. And I'm wondering, what other five, you know, other regions is he talking about? What five other regions is he talking about? Now, there is something he should note that this time around, Nigerians are not voting for because he is our brother or because he is our sister. No. Nigerians who are voting for the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter B, have seen that truly he understands the problems of Nigeria and he has promised to bring a lasting solution to it. Even if so many people have alleged that, yes, the incoming next president might not be able to solve all Nigeria problems, might not be able to face the damages done, but... Most Nigerians have put their hope and faith in Peter B, and they believe that Peter B will come up with a better solution to the problems of Nigerians. Now, Peter B has sparked this, 
you know, sense of fresh hope into the minds and lives of so many people in the country. The youth, the men, the women, even little children have seen that, yes, Peter B is the right man for the people. So they are not voting Peter B because he's an Igbo man. If he's by that, then it is only the Igbo people that will cast their vote for Mr. Peter B. But we are not seeing that. We have seen that other regions, the Hausas, the Yorubas, are throwing their support and endorsing Mr. Peter B. So if it's by our brother, our brother, that means the Hausas will not support Peter B. The Yorubas will not support Peter B. And the leader of the Afeni Fere group have, you know, shown the, 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 the public, shown Nigerians at large that he is fully behind Mr. Peter B. Even the former president, Obasanjo, have stated that he is strongly behind Peter B. So you see that for these people, for this set of people, these leaders to come out and say that they are standing strongly behind Peter B, that means they have seen a special character. They have seen a special character that distinguish Mr. Peter B from the rest of the, you know, other uh, presidential candidates we have. And secondly, Nigerians are tired. Generally, Nigerians are tired of the APC. Nigerians are tired of the PDP. So Nigerians crave for a new leadership. That is what Nigerians are craving for. Not because Peter B is, a, is an Igbo person. No, no, no. Nigerians have said no to playing a, a religious card or, or tribalism. We are done with that. Anybody that is voting an Igbo man, you know, is not doing in Igbo any special favor. You are voting because you know that this is the person that is right for this country. And Nigerians have seen that Peter B is that man. That is why they are throwing their support for him. You know, even people outside the country are flying back to Nigeria just to cast their vote for Mr. Peter B. That is to show how Peter B has sparked a sense of fresh hope into the lives and minds of so many people. However, Nigerians have reacted to this particular issue, stating, People should not be released from prison without serving their due terms. There is a reason it is called Correctional Center. Lord, I thank you for a political southeastern role model like OB. If anybody talk about you, it means you are not doing well. The fear of Peter OB is our incoming presidential, our incoming president, pardon, is really causing headache amongst the enemies of our great country. Mr. Peter OB all the way. <laughs> the truth is always bitter, but Senator Ojikalu is just being plain with his people. A tree does not make a forest, and politics should not be played like prayer magic. It takes mutually national togetherness and integration. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this particular statement made by Senator Oji Uzokalu? which states that the Igbo needs other regions to win this, you know, to win the president or to win this election. If you agree with this statement, kindly share your thoughts concerning this in, this in the comment section down below. If you disagree, kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. I'm dropping here, guys. Bye for now.